What's up guys? I'm out here at my dad's business. This is Clyde Stalling, it's a tow truck business. I'm here for Christmas break. I'm helping my old man split some firewood for the winter. So that's what I'm up to right now. But today, while I'm splitting some firewood, I figured it was as good a time as any to talk about audience awareness level three, a solution aware audience. And it just so happens that my dad's business and most fitness businesses all fall into the solution aware business category. I'm gonna see if I can split this log real quick and we'll get into it. It's about audience awareness level two, a problem aware audience. This week, this week we are talking about audience awareness level three, which is a solution aware audience. So what's the difference between a problem aware audience and a solution aware audience? A problem aware audience is somebody that knows they have a problem, but don't know how to solve the problem. That's audience awareness level two. Audience awareness level three, when you're talking about a solution aware audience, is somebody knows they have a problem and also knows that there are solutions out there in the world for them to be able to solve that problem. They just don't know what solution is right for them just yet. So this is fun because it's actually the same awareness audience level that my dad's business falls into, the vast majority of fitness audiences fall into. So I'm gonna walk around real quick, show you a little bit of my dad's business, <laughs> which is pretty fun actually. So what we have this business is called Clyde's Towing. This is T. Wayne on the tractor, plowing the place for us right now. It's so fun to come home. <laughs> and what we have are all these tow trucks, all these cars, all these places like this. So this is tow truck number 17, right? This is Clyde's Towing, my dad's old business. These are pretty fun. And over here is where we have all these old cars that have all been in wrecks. This is our little junk lot right here. These are all people that have been in real crashes. And now we have all of their cars. So you can see this one got pretty smashed up. Uh, some of them just broke down. This one up here, this truck was in a head-on collision. Oh no, just looks like it got sideswiped, which is all. So you can see we have a lot of people that have been in wrecks. People come to us because they know they have a problem, right? Their car has been in a wreck, so they know they've been in a problem. But unlike a problem where audience, audience awareness level three, topic of our video today, has a problem and knows there's a solution to it. So when you have a problem, like you wreck your car, you know the solution is to get it towed by a tow truck, typically. What you don't know is specifically what tow truck company you're going to get yet. You usually don't know like the exact product level that you're gonna get yet. That's why most people have this service called AAA. You might have it yourself as well, where you call this international provider that in then in turn calls a tow company like my dad's business. The building is right back there. And then we come out and actually tow the car. So that is a solution aware audience. Somebody knows their solution is a solution to their problem, but they don't know what the right solution is yet or which one level of those solutions they actually want to choose yet. So the topic of this video that we really need to cover is how do we get somebody to choose your solution over somebody else's solution? Simple answer to it real quick, but I first want to give you a little bit of context on why this is such a big problem and why it's a huge thing that new entrepreneurs struggle with all the time. So when you have a solution aware audience, uh, like I'll use the fitness niche for an example, is that there's a lot of people out there that want to lose weight, a lot of people, even me right now, I just ate a freaking ridiculous amount of Christmas ham. And that's part of the reason why I'm out here splitting firewood in the first place is that I really just want to exercise a little bit, have a little bit of fun. So there's a ton of people that have this very general problem of I want to lose weight. So the first companies that get in and start to solve this problem, like you look at big companies that have crushed it, like a Weight Watchers, like uh, Beachbody, like P90X. Well, technically uh, P90X is owned by Beachbody, but there's these huge programs, huge companies that have solved a very general problem by with a very general solution. So now how does you as the little fitness coach come in that doesn't have a name for yourself, that doesn't have uh, this massive celebrity and millions and millions of followers, how do you get people to buy your product? It comes down to this thing in marketing that we call a USP. That's three letters. USP stands for a unique selling point. Some people call it a UMP, which is a unique method. Uh, but there's all sorts of different ways to talk about it. Basically, what you need to do is you need to find this way to represent your solution or present your solution to the audience in a unique fashion. The Vert Shock is a basketball training company started by a college basketball player, I think played at the University of Minnesota. The guy's pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of him. 
uh, and he started this company to help young basketball players increase their vertical jump so they can learn how to dunk. Now the problem with this is, is that the basketball niche is actually getting kind of saturated now. There's quite a few companies in this that talk about uh, how to get better at uh, um, basketball, like elite guard training was one that I took when I was a little kid, and it's kind of took up the lion's share of the basketball training market. But the way that you still separate and the way this vert shock program still does phenomenal is this very unique, very unique uh, selling point that they have based on Russian scientists. So I'll explain real quick, just a quick little overview because you probably already read the sales page, is you go in and you want to increase your vertical jump. You don't know exactly what the best way to do that is yet, but you know there's ways out there where you lift and you can get better, and, but you just don't know what the exact method is, the exact way that you want to do it is just yet. So you've come across the sales page called the Vert Shock System, where this guy talks about meeting a Russian scientist in a bar where he, the Russian scientist was actually one of the athletic physicists or something like that. It was some weird name. That might not be right. For the Russian Soviet team, for the Soviet Union hockey team way back in the day when they won like back-to-back -back gold medals in every single Olympics for decades. It was crazy, and nobody knew how they were doing it. The Soviets were just the best athletes in the world. Now, this guy that creates the Verkshot system walks into a bar one day, sits down next to a dude that just happens to have been a former Russian <laughs> a scientist that was helping train this hockey team, which is crazy. So he talks to the scientist, ends up talking to the guy for a long time, they become friends, and he learns about all these unique systems that the Soviets used for the hockey team way back in the day that made them the best athletes in the world. Now those same principles are what he teaches inside of the Vert Shock system which is it, it's a proven system that's worked in the past now it's been re uncovered like uncovered again and brought to light and that is a unique selling point it, I love it so much I wanted to buy that program so bad before but I know it's if I bought it I get really addicted to basketball again it wouldn't be healthy but this system the unique selling point is what sells it not the promise, not the promise that you're going to get a certain result out of it, but it's how that certain result is going to come about to you, all right? That unique system is actually what sells people on a product in a solution-aware audience, 